friends even today we live in such a society where only the boy is given importance when a girl is born in most of the people's house all the members of the house feel disappointed but this is nothing but the ignorance of man but friends you will be surprised to know that daughters are not born in everyone's house but in the house of those who are fortunate and have done good deeds in their previous birth friends today we will tell you in which house a daughter is born hello and welcome to this special video of your hinduism mystery friends a daughter is never a burden on her parents she is born only to make her own and her family's fortune according to mahabharat one day when arjun asked lord krishna o madhav for what reason a daughter is born then lord krishna said arjuna when one has a son it is by bhagya but daughters are by saubhagya women or men do good deeds in their previous birth due to those good deeds they get the fortune of becoming parents of a daughter not only this parents are chosen for the birth of daughters who can bear the burden of daughters daughters are the only ones in all the three worlds whose burden cannot be borne by everyone they are the daughters who sacrifice everything for the continuous running of the universe o oh arjun the day the birth of daughters will stop in this world on that day this world will end because if there are no daughters in this world then the lineage of the family will not be able to move forward You must have also heard someone saying that the house where a daughter is born is like heaven because a son illuminates a family but daughters illuminate two families the daughter fulfills her responsibility in the parents house coming to her in-laws house she performs all her duties as a daughter in law friends now will is you must also be hearing that daughters or daughters in law cannot perform pindan after the death of someone in the family but this is a completely wrong fact it is written in the ramayana that when dashratha the father of lord shri ram died his daughter in law sita had done his pindan it is said in the scriptures of hinduism that daughters can do pindan in the name of their father on the other hand if there is no son in the in-law side then in this situation the daughter in law can do penda that's why friends those people are very lucky in whose house a daughter is born but they are very fortunate in whose house more than one daughters are born perhaps for this reason daughters are given the status of lakshmi many people are blessed with a daughter due to the virtue of their previous birth but due to their poor thinking they consider the daughter a burden in this birth but the daughter brings her own luck and her own fortune along with it also brings the fortunes of her parents a daughter always thinks about her parents more than a son only a daughter gives love respect and affinity the birth of a girl child should be celebrated like a celebration a daughter is never a burden on the father's shoulders if a daughter is on the father's shoulders she lightens every burden daughters are never hungry for money but only hungry for respect it has been told in garuda purana that when a soul takes a new birth then that soul behaves according to that body only by performing actions through the body a soul can make the purpose of its birth meaningful if a man does the same work that a woman does then that soul becomes a woman in the next birth It has been told in Garuda Purana that the man who remembers the woman while dying he takes birth as a girl in the next life if he dies remembering god he attains salvation friends that's all thanks for today jay shri ram